Hey guys, Chicken Moon with Chicken Moon with Mox, and today I have a brand new video for you guys on something I have been dreading to make a video on. This is G1 based Devastator. Now, you might be wondering, why am I dreading this? Well, two things, well, three things. It's gonna take forever <laughs> to transform. He is gonna be, uh, he's maybe, I guess not as strong in some areas. And then, uh, well, just the time, really. But, okay, so, um, uh, Mini Book of the Day, you can barely even see him because everything else is taking up the screen. This is my custom astromech droid. If you're a fan of my mock pages, you've seen this guy in the pod, not in the pod, well, no, not in the pod racer, but you have seen him in the, my little custom Jedi Starfighter. So that's pretty cool. There's my minifig with him. They look pretty good together, if I do say so myself. Now, like I said, this is all completely custom. So, there is no droid like this one. <laughs> Although the head and the body part came in actual set. So this is officially Lego. I did not modify any of these parts in any way. But I think it looks pretty good. And that's about it. Alright. So on to Devastator. Uh, he's made up of one, two, three, four, five, and six parts. All this extra stuff in the back here is stuff needed to transform it. Uh, I know, I know, I'm usually against doing that, but, uh, with this guy there's really no way to avoid that. Right. So, yeah, he's stuck with it. Uh, I'll probably be uploading this guy in three videos, so if you see, like, a spam of videos, that's why, because I'm uploading this guy three times. Uh, it's gonna be, like, my Bruticus model, so if you've seen that, how that video worked out, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing for this, for Devastator. Alright, so let's get all this unnecessary stuff out of the way, and let's talk about their vehicle modes. Alright, so each one has a vehicle mode. Uh, here is... No, not Scrapper. You know what, I'm not even going to attempt any of their names, because I'll probably get them wrong. All I know is Long Haul, Hook, uh, this is Mix Master. This one, I believe, is Scrapper. You know what, put it in the comments below, I'm sure y'all know them. But, I just don't really... Have, uh, oh, wait, Rampage. This is Rampage. This is, uh, this one's Scrapper, I think. And then this guy I have no clue on. He's the bulldozer. Anyways, first thing, Rampage. Uh, he's pretty interesting. I gotta say, they're all relatively simple, just because I wanted them to have a good combined mode and a pretty good... Each one have a pretty good vehicle mode, and then not as good robot mode. <laughs> but, uh, so that's him. He's kind of like a strange bulldozer. Here is a crane. Uh, look, he got pretty good in the functions area on moving that, and you can also rotate it outwards. You can actually make it reach the ground. As you can see, there's a lot of ball open ball joints on them. That's for combining... And this is the thing that sucked all my ball joints dry. So whenever I made that Bricklink order for all those ball joints, not the most recent one, but the one before that, this is, that's why, because I used all my ball joints in these guys. Here's Long Haul. He actually has a working dumping feature. Flames for the reason that I ran out of parts and I did not want to take those stickers off. And, yeah, I think he looks pretty good. Uh, if you're noticing a pattern, all of them have white windshields. I wanted to keep them consistent. And I didn't have enough trans clear. And there's some of these parts that don't come in trans clear. So, these work. And I think they look pretty good. Alright, that's long haul. Mix Master. The, uh, mixing truck. <laughs> He's probably one of my least favorites. Although I really like... His, what I did for this, it's not accurate, but uh, it's the best I could do with the 
scale and the purple colors. All right. Next is this guy. I still don't know his name. Uh, but, yeah, he's pretty cool. I actually really like this guy. This is probably one of my favorites. It reminds me of a bulldozer I saw on YouTube one time. I'm not going to link it because I don't remember it. But, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then finally we got this guy. Uh, I believe it's Scriper, but I'm not 100% sure. He's got a working scoop. It's on all on ball, mixed ball joints, so it works really good. Good, nice, long reach. And it uses one of those new one by one pieces. This is the only one I have, so <laughs> I used it on this guy. And it works pretty well as a little scooper. So, yep, that's him. Next. Okay, so let's go ahead and transform all of these guys into their robot modes. And then I'll show you their combiner parts later on, probably in the next video. Alright, so to transform these guys, it's all very, very simple. This guy is probably one of my favorites. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to wait for it to focus, rotate the wheels around like this. Bring this down. This is kind of like a back stand just to help them stand better. So, like that. I know it don't look that great from the side, but it looks pretty good from the front, so I'm okay with it. Alright, uh, next just bring the arms out, like that. There's one robot mode. Uh, maybe it was grapple. No. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to remember these names. Alright, next is this guy. Go ahead. He's one of the simpler ones to transform. What you're going to do is fold this out. And up, pull this out and up, and then just leave that where that is. Next, you're just gonna bring this down. It's gonna be kind of like his. Uh, it could touch the ground if you really want it to. It don't have to though, so it's really up to you. But yeah, that's actually it for this guy. Now he does have a little bit of trouble standing, especially whenever you have that in the wrong spot. But if you got it in the right spot like that, he has uh, these little feet down here that actually hold him up. And so it looks like he's holding, he's only standing by a ball joint when he's actually not. So that's next robot mode. Bring, put him over there. Next we have this guy. He's really, really easy to transform. Ready? Boop. Done. <laughs> he's probably one of my favorites just because it's so simple. So you ready? Doop, doop, done. <laughs> yeah, I love that guy. All right, so that's him. Uh, Rampage, I believe. Hook is this guy. Rampage, him. <laughs> Here's long haul. Long haul's pretty simple as well. Basically, you're gonna rotate the eye around and then bring out the arms. Very, very simple. A lot of bo <laughs> a lot of back kibble. But, all right, I dr okay, I'll go ahead and be honest. None of these guys really have that great of a robot mode, but come on. I tried to make, on a small scale, robots that can transform and combine. So, if you want to storm the comments with hate about how bad these guys look, go ahead, but I'm not really going to listen that much. All right, so, you're going to bring out the arm, rotate it around. And turn him around. That's him. Very, very simple. As along with the rest of them. Now I just gotta try and figure out how to get these guys in frame. Alright. Last guy. Mix Master. And he's probably one of the complex, most complex ones. Uh, at least in uh, combined mode. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start by folding it down that. Basically to where it will stand. And then rotate that around. There you go. Uh, his eye is kind of hard to see, but there it is. Then he's got his little arms, which you can angle however you want. And that's him. So, let me move my camera a little bit. There you go. That is all of them in their robot modes. And they look pretty good. For scale, we can bring in my astromech. Actually, you know what? We're going to move the camera back a little bit more. 
There we go. There's the astromech right in the middle. Here's the minifig. My minifig. Right there. Yeah, they're all about the same. A couple of them are taller than a minifig. Some are about the same size as a minifig. I think this guy's probably about the shortest of them. But, yeah. Uh, more scale, we can bring in Bruticus. We could bring in uh, Omega Supreme. Which, no, they're not in scale. Nobody's really in scale with this guy. Here's Starscream. There's Bumblebee. If I can, well, I want to knock him over. I guess that worked. It's so hard to do this when there's not really that much room to work with. Alright, uh, here's Soundwave. Back there. And then finally, just for the fun of it, Optimus Prime. As you can see, none of these guys are really in scale, but they all look pretty good. I, I honestly think um, Bruticus is probably the closest one to being in scale, but at least the closest one I have. Yeah, definitely the closest one I got. All right. So, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I'll be making another video really soon regarding their uh, transformation from uh, robot mode to combiner mode. And then I'll make one final video on them, I'll, how to combine them all. So yeah, actually, I might just do two videos. We'll see how it goes. So that's it for this video and outro time. So, if you enjoyed this video, please click right over here. Well, well, yeah, there it is. And check out my other uh, Transformers. If you um, really like my content, you like this video, please consider subscribing. And now, here's something new. If you click over here, this is going to be a video that YouTube gave you specifically. So, will you enjoy it? Uh, is YouTube wrong? Click it and find out. So, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.